Thank you very much indeed. There is, of course, as you know, big money to be made in space. The satellite launch industry is one example of that. In the near future, space tourism is going to be something we'll be hearing more about. And in the slightly longer term, maybe the possibility of mining asteroids and uh, going after resources in space is going to be something that the business community will be looking at seriously. I, I think the space program is going to move increasingly from organizations like NASA and ESA actually into the private sector. But is there any money to be made in alien life? And can the search for alien life teach the business community any lessons? Well, as to whether there's money in alien life, of course, there's certainly money in Hollywood science fiction movies. And uh, Mr. Spielberg and Mr. Lucas and a number of uh, colleagues have made a lot of money out of that. What about the real search for life? Many different people are searching for extraterrestrial life in different places and with different methodologies. Some people are researching and investigating the UFO phenomenon. Other people talk about missions perhaps to Mars or Europa and maybe finding microbial life elsewhere in our solar system. Some people are looking at exoplanets and are talking about the next generation of uh, telescopes conducting spectral analysis to look for the biosignature, as it were, the biomarker, evidence that there might be life on other planets orbiting other stars. And some people, some radio astronomers, are searching for a signal from another civilization, just as we send signals uh, out into space uh, to try and attack, attract attention. That's something that's been done. So others are listening. Last year, the Royal Society held two discussion meetings to talk about the search for extraterrestrial life and the more interesting question of what would happen if we found it. What was particularly interesting about those two meetings in terms of innovation and thinking outside the box was that this wasn't just astronomers or astrophysicists involved, but there were theologians invited. Uh, anthropologists were there as well. So this was a multidisciplinary effort. And I think in a world where people all too often work in, in very narrow silos, it's very interesting to look at the search for alien life as being this multidisciplinary search. Another example of innovation in that search is the way that people are beginning to think outside the box and say, well, wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't be so anthropocentric about this. Let's not just think for looking for something like us, an Earth-like planet around a sun-like star. Let's consider um, that an advanced civilization might migrate to a black hole because they might view it as an energy source. And let's think that uh, maybe, as people begin to realize that our bodies break down, maybe we are in what has been termed the post-biological universe. So maybe we should be looking for artificial intelligence as well. What happens if we find alien life? Clearly, there would be huge implications in terms of politics, religion, science, and indeed a societal change in our worldview. But there might be some other interesting consequences as well, perhaps more relevant to the business community. If you find a new form of life, you get to name it. How much might that be worth? Sponsorship? If you find a planet, if you the one who discovers a planet where maybe, just maybe, there's life, again, how much would the naming rights of that be worth? If you brought back microbes from Mars or Europa, what about the biotechnology implications of that? 
And if you detected a signal from another civilization, what might the information encoded in that signal tell us? And how much might that be worth? So in summary, I think of these different strategies going on to search for extraterrestrial life as being, as it were, a new space race that might have something to teach the business community in terms of competition, because all these, um, all these different strategies are going on in parallel, but like any race, somebody's going to win it. And also, might there be some more direct benefits in terms of the technology? And a final thought. For those of you who are perhaps skeptical about the existence of extraterrestrial life, think of it in terms of a phrase from the business community that you will all be familiar with. Think of discovering alien life as the ultimate low probability, high impact event. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.